job. Uh, ah! Hey folks, Thursday, PM, biceps, side slash rear delts, and forearms. One exercise for each. Today we're gonna be illustrating how to use drop sets in real life. So we're gonna do a drop set for biceps, drop set for shoulders, and a probably drop set, we'll see how it works. A lot of times drop sets are relatively untenable for forearms because they actually take so little time to clear lactate that you can just do myo reps instead. You don't have to drop the load. So in any case, that's what we're gonna be doing. And let's go get pumped. Exercise number one, cable bicep drop set. We're gonna start with something that is between 10 and 20 of our RM, and we're gonna drop one notch on the cable stack every single time we approach close to failure. We're gonna do that four to six times until the systemic fatigue is higher than the local fatigue and we're no longer getting quality work put into the muscle. It's gonna be 10 to 20 reps. Minimal rest between sets, as long as it takes Charlie to switch it out for me. One notch down, and then at least five reps, something like five to 10, hopefully, uh, for all the subsequent sets.
All right, folks, lateral raise on the machine, another drop set. Crazy, I know, something like 10 to 15 reps on the first set, and then about five reps, five to 10, on every successive set. In drop sets, the idea is not to go as quickly as possible and rest as little time as possible. It's to rest just as long as it takes to make your muscle the limiting factor again, which means you shouldn't be breathing super heavy again. You should feel your mojo again. You should feel your strength. No more lactate accumulated in the muscle to the extent that it interferes greatly with contraction. So you can still feel a little burn, but you're ready to go do another productive set of five to 10. That's when you go again, not just like right away, because you quickly do like one, 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 zero reps, and then you've ended your drop set for no good reason. Let's get started. Folks, you'll notice on lateral raises, we're going all the way up, slowly controlling down. Is this better than just going to here? No, it's just a different way of doing things. Do you get a lot of side delt activation from going higher? You do. Do you also get some front delt? Of course. Do you get a lot of trap? Of course. We're not using this as a side delt isolation exercise necessarily. We're doing it to big, big ass side delts, big ass traps, and why not big ass front delts as well? If that's your goal, is overall shoulder hypertrophy, it's a great exercise. And a lot of people say, well, it's only front delt because you're pointing up this way. Try it. You will feel stimulus to fatigue ratio wise. You get a huge burn and pump and tension in your side delts doing it. And if you don't, if you really only feel the front delts, stop fucking doing it. It's that simple, folks. Everything comes down to individualization at the end. I think I can talk shit this time. <laughs> Some of my reps are sloppy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the lactate in there. It's, uh... This arm's at least like 30 pounds. Like no jokes.
forearm curls because regular forearm training, if you know what I mean, doesn't always do a good enough job. Drop set, just like we've been doing for biceps and delts. Similar idea, forearm curls. You don't have to wait too long because as soon as lactic acid dissipates, usually you're centrally driven enough to do another hard set. Again, first set is gonna be 10 to 20 reps, then successive sets of roughly five to 10. Again, I'm doing six drop sets, but all volume landmarks are a little different. Charlie might do a little more, Jared might do a little less. If you do this yourself, make sure that you do the appropriate amount of volume and scale your volume as needed over time to just do one number of sets and never change. Let's get started. Folks, that's it for the workout. Biceps, delts, forearms, we're done. Workout posted in the comments, all the details, or sorry, in the description. See you next time for crazy psycho leg training, leg session number two, Friday AM. Ouch.